I'm Dr. Michelle Eckler, Supervisor of Secondary English Language Arts with the Waterbury Public Schools, and today I am sharing with you another quick tech tip. This tech tip is so exciting to me because it is the slow rollout of Google's host features for our Google Meets. And this is going to be very helpful to prevent any kind of Google bombing in your Google Classroom, as well as to help you do a little bit of controlling of that chat feature so that you can um, figure out, you know, make sure students aren't using the chat when you don't want them to, so they're paying attention and then turning it back on uh, when you're ready to have them use it. So let me show you what this looks like. So I'm going to start, this is my Google Classroom, my main page. I'm going to click on my Google Classroom, and then I'm going to go in and activate my Google Meet. Um, I always turn off my microphone and my camera for you so you don't get feedback in my videos, but you would leave that on if you were about to host your Meet with your students. And I'm going to join my Meet. Now you're going to notice you're going to have this little blue uh, shield with a lock on it. This is your host controls. When you click on your host controls, it will bring up the quick view for this. And what you're going to want to do is as soon as you open your Google Meet, you're going to want to turn off quick access. I would also highly suggest right away turning off share their screen so that other people in your Meet can't share their screen. And then depending upon whether or not you're using your chat feature right away in your Google Class, um, in your Google Meet class, you may choose to turn off your chat messages immediately also. I'll show you how to quickly turn those on and off in a moment. You can also click on this button right here to bring up your entire host settings. This will give you all of the host settings right on the screen, um, and it gives you a little more information. So let me explain what quick access is to you. Um, quick access is when we provide a link to students to access your uh, Google Meet. So we also provide these to teachers and other people when we're trying to get into a Google Meet. When we turn off quick access, what we've done is activated a waiting room for anybody who's trying to get into our Meet. Once you turn off quick access, you're activating that waiting room for students, you're activating the waiting room for teachers, you're basically activating the waiting room for everyone. So let me show you what that looks like from the student side now that I've at, turned off quick act access and activated my waiting room. So I'm going to hop into my student account here. You can tell once again this is my student account because of the letter T up here. This stands for my test student. And when my test student goes ahead and clicks on this, now let me just give you the heads up. I'm recording the sound on my screen also. So you're going to hear the, um, the little door knock sound, the doorbell sound, when the student tries to get in from my account. Um, so I click on it. Again, like I said, I turn this off for you guys. Um, so it's asking the student to join. So instead of automatically joining the Meet, the student actually has to ask to join. So you click on Ask to Join as a student. What's going to happen is Up's going to pop at the, the kind of what they call, um, Google calls it the knocking. So now the test student is knocking at my door. So I can choose to admit my test student. And so now the test student is actually in my Google Classroom. Now, if I were to try to log in as another adult, so let's say I wanted um, to invite um, my principal or my department supervisor to the meeting at that time, I can actually send them the joining info or a supervisor could log in um, to a Google Classroom through, or a principal could log in through the actual Google Classroom. But I'm gonna actually just paste that meet information in here. This is my separate supervisor account. And you can see here that I'm also being asked to join. So I'm gonna join. There's the little doorbell sound. I'm going to go back to my Google Classroom. It's going to tell me secondary ELA supervisor wants to join. And now I'm going to admit. You heard a bunch of beeps because that was the person jumping into all the three meets that I have open right now. Because I actually currently have three open to show you this. Um, <clears throat> so now I have my Google Classroom here. I have my three people in the Google Classroom with me. If I click on the chat feature, I can actually send a chat message. And that will show up for all of my other people in the Meet. However, notice here it says chat isn't available at this time. Those people in the Meet cannot actually respond to my chat. However, if I go into the chat in my main account, this is me back as the teacher, and I'm the host, I can actually turn that on and off during my meet. So now I am test student, I can send back a comment, 
I am secondary ELA supervisor. I can send back a comment. But if I go back into my main account, I can then turn that off again. So I can go back. There you go. Chat is not available. So these are just some of the new features that are available in the host uh, features in Google Classroom. Uh, I'm sorry, in Google Meet. You can always turn these back on. So right now, no one's allowed to share their screen. So I can because I'm the main person, but test student cannot. Secondary ELA supervisor cannot. Okay, so these are controls to help you maintain more safety features in your Google Meets. Um, the suggestion right now is that you turn these off immediately as soon as you start your Google Classroom. That will allow you to only let in your students um, that you know are, uh, are, are supposed to be in that Google Classroom. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out. I hope you found this tech tip helpful, uh, and I look forward to providing you with more in the future.